call First Republic at 718-380-0006 and eliminate the middleman. Raj and a loan officer that's physically in the studios of Link Up Radio and also at First Republic Mortgage Bankers. First Republic Mortgage Bankers is now located next to the Link Up Radio studios and they have a direct number which is 718-652-6200. That's 718-652-6200 and also an address of 3868 White Plains Road sharing the same office, um, same address but uh, different suite and different offices. I think I've tracked down Mr. Scott Siskin. He believed that he would have been able to get away that easily from, of course, speaking with me on air. Well, tri-state area, he's not getting away. He needs to help us more. Scott Siskin, how you doing, Mr. President of the Bank? First Republic? I'm doing, I'm doing good. You know, Mona caught me just as I was getting up from my desk. So uh, uh, you got me then and uh, you got me now. Well, I'm very happy that I have you here. And um, Scott Siskin, I don't know if you know, but this is what we call drive time slash, you know, the ride home um, air time on 93.5 WVIP, since you have a lot to do with it being here. And, you know, we have different uh, different people listening at different times on Mondays. You do know that, right? Yeah, well, considering we're all the way from 11 o'clock till 8 o'clock, yeah, I, I know different people listen at different times. Absolutely. So... You know, I couldn't help but hearing all the, the great points that you made with Rajan um, in the previous hour and even before. And uh, let me just check to see if Rajan is physically with us here again within this hour, because I want people to actually get all this information here. Hello, Rajan. How you doing, man? I'm here. Oh, man. Let me tell you, we had a great, great segment earlier. And we got a ton of calls to show for it, too. I mean, listeners were just really tuning in and, and getting the effect of what we were saying. And We've got a lot, a lot of calls that came in, which was great. A lot of questions, a lot of, you know, the credit reports that they wanted us to take a look at. So it was a great segment, and hopefully we can have another great segment with all those listeners that are, are tuning in right now. Well, can well, we both, go back? Both of you gentlemen, I sent you an article today about uh-huh. how um, the, the lack of uh, knowledge, education, uh, financial knowledge and education uh, of Americans is really hurting them. Did you read that article? Uh, not as yet, but I have it in my inbox, and I'm pulling it up. They're pulling it up right now. Rajan, did you read it? I'm pulling <laughs> I read the okay. other article. I'll, He's I'll getting out the crack, Mary. You know, there, there's so little schooling that uh, is available unless, you know, you're going to be in an economist, you know, study economics and um, finance the way, the way that I did. But, Myself you know, even too. after that, in the practical world, people who can't even manage their checkbooks, who are trying to understand uh, the financial meltdown and what it means to them and their personal situation. And, you know, it was very uh, an article that really brought out a very important uh, point that we've been addressing for the last 13 years, which is educating people. Whether it's a seminar, whether it's on the radio, whether it's on TV, we've always sought to educate people as their opportunities to utilize the financing that's available, bring the, breaking down the barriers to the best financing so people can get out of debt, so people can buy homes. So, Squeeze, have you read that article by now? As a matter of fact, you know, what it is I can do, I can read the article on air. I do think my reading ability is somewhat okay. <laughs> <laughs> so here's another article why it is so important for people to get the facts all right and we want you to listen to this and hopefully this is the article that scott siskin the president of the bank is talking about because he do send uh, multiple articles all the time which is, is is very informative for me um here it says fighting america's economic illiteracy or economic illiteracy depending on what part of the world you're from your enunciation and pronunciation might be different from mine. But it says here, the, in the ongoing financial crisis, it's hard to tell who is the least trustworthy regarding the economy. The reckless bankers who led their companies into insolvency, the ordinary borrowers who got in way, got in way over their heads, or the other policymakers who don't know the difference between commercial paper and copy machine paper. <laughs> According to a recent survey, Our organization sponsored to gauge our nation's financial literacy, or lack thereof, many Americans are basically unqualified to manage their own checking accounts, let alone save a collapsing credit market. When 70% of adults can't identify FICA scores as the most important factor in obtaining a mortgage, and a similar percentage doesn't know how interest is calculated on late credit card payments, It's not hard to see that our present economic turmoil is connected to our collective financial ineptitude. The survey made it clear that economic illiteracy is startling, widespread, and contributing to problems in all sectors of our economy. Hear, hear. 
President well, John F. Kennedy called on Americans to, open quotes, or quote, think of education as the means of developing our greatest abilities, unquote. We must now focus on developing our ability to make smart financial decisions through education because a nation of economic illiterates cannot prosper. We must not repeat the mistakes that got us into this credit mess, and we must be vigilant in our efforts to increase financial education for all Americans. Wow, Scott, you seems like you're doing your homework, man. Oh. <laughs> I give you an A+. Plus. Thank, thank you, you know, because it's impo- I think it's just so important for people to hear about these polls, to hear the reality, and for people to not feel embarrassed. I think, you know, I used the an, an anecdotal example of someone I had spoken to earlier who, you know, didn't want to speak, didn't want someone he knew to know about or speak to about his financial situation. And I think there's a lot of people who just don't, who don't even want to think about their financial situation, no less talk about it, even if it's off, off the air and it's private, you know, with, with um, Rajan or any, any one of the loan officers. And I'm really, which we tried to earlier, appeal to those people to at least get the facts because, Squeeze, I understand that people are scared, people for their jobs. I've, we, I sent you another article about pe- the percentage of people who are scared for their jobs. And mm-hmm. I can understand they don't want to make a financial commitment to those people and buy a house. I can understand that. I cannot understand a homeowner who has has a mortgage, maybe a second mortgage, maybe a lot of credit card debt. They don't even know how to calculate the interest on the payments, and they're, they're just suffering. They're going along paycheck to paycheck. First Republic Mortgage Bankers is a licensed mortgage banker, direct lender in New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, Florida, Delaware, Maryland, Georgia, South Carolina, headquartered at 110 Jericho Turnpike, Floral Park, New York. 